that calf is about two months old and mama's ears are up. She's checking us out, but she's not alarmed. Wildlife biologist Jeremy Schmidt is in Yellowstone National Park, and he has spent the last 43 years tracking and studying the local wildlife. Park visitors are not permitted to get this close to wild animals, but Jeremy's expertise and experience enable him to observe at a safe distance. This morning we came into her view, let her know that we're here, and now we're standing still and she just registered our presence, saw that we aren't looking threatening, we're not doing anything threatening, and she's comfortable with that. Yellowstone is the best place in the whole world, I think, to watch animals, certainly in North America. It's the largest intact ecosystem. It's filled with elk, bison, bears, moose, all kinds of other animals. It's so rich in animals, and it's such a lovely, wild place. Yellowstone is home to the largest concentration of mammals in the lower 48 states. And that's all thanks to the park's more than 2 million acres, the first federally protected land in the U.S. It all started in the summer of 1871 when a survey team embarked on a scientific expedition to explore Yellowstone. When they returned, the explorers presented such magnificent photographs and watercolor paintings that Congress acted to preserve the land from any future private development. On March 1, 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant signed into law the act that officially protected Yellowstone's land. And in the process, created the world's first national park. With early advocates like President Theodore Roosevelt pioneering the conservation movement, 14 national parks were established by 1916, ushering in the formation of the National Park Service to care for and preserve the newly protected land. Recognizing the need to protect all of America's majestic locations, the new parks covered a wide range of ecosystems from towering sequoias and underground caves to icy peaks and active volcanoes. More than 140 years later, the United States now boasts 60 national parks, allowing visitors from around the world to appreciate the untouched beauty of America's natural wonders. Well, it's mornings like this that I live for. A lifetime is not nearly enough time to see everything Yellowstone has to offer. Every time I go out, I find something new, something interesting to look at.